Hey everybody, Derek Claridge here. Today we're going to be checking out the Logitech X5 35.1 surround sound system. Now I don't have the center channel for this, but that shouldn't matter for today's video. We're going to be doing a quick audio test, we're going to be doing a quick review, as well as grabbing the hammer, seeing what's inside these things, and then of course plugging them into a big amplifier, seeing what they can do before they blow their magic smoke. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> stay tuned. Let's get things started here. We got the Logitech X530 minus the center channel. However, remember an old video I had, I actually did blow up that center channel speaker. The exact same one, not the one from this set. But you know what? There we go, we're gonna know what it looks like. So everything seems all fine and good until we check out the inputs here. We have three 3.5 millimeter jacks on this guy. Now, a lot of people get confused by this and they can't figure things out and they get really angry. I got a lot of emails, you know, talking about how to plug these things in. And really, these things are made for a 5.1 surround sound card on your computer, like a gaming computer or such. You can actually buy a uh, USB 5.1 converter card that will work for stuff like this. And uh, there is this weird adapter I've seen on the China market where it actually turns two RCA cables into these three connectors and apparently converts it into 5.1 however I'm very interested to know if anyone's ever used one of those and actually what it does with the center channel like I I don't know does it just take like a one of the rights or something like <laughs> I can't imagine it would work very good but anyway we got these three 3.5 millimeter jacks there's the green one orange one and the black one now typically green is the color of the audio output so we'll plug that one in which most people do and we'll see what happens here now you're not going to be able to tell in the video but we're only getting audio from the two front and left channel speakers here and the subwoofer now if I were to plug this orange one in yeah the orange ones made for the center channel and also the subwoofer channel as well now if we plug this black one in Now we've got these two back speakers going. Now one of the big problems is, a lot of people will deal with, you know, just having the two front speakers and the subwoofer working, but then all of a sudden, they have these two cords that are just sort of floating around behind their computer, and you end up grounding them out. So I have the green connector plugged into the PC, and I just have the two front and left speakers and the subwoofer working. That's fine for most people, but we're hearing a very bad interference. We still have these two jacks that are just sitting behind the computer, and they're grounding out and making a very bad ground loop. So if you want to just use one of these connectors at a time, I'd actually suggest taping these up with electrical tape or something, maybe even covering them with hot glue, because <laughs> that's just totally brutal. You might notice no matter what channel you plug it into, the subwoofer works along with it. real bad this thing just rattles away it's actually way too boomy for me on the lowest setting <laughs> so the satellites each have two of these they're probably two or one and a half inch drivers this one's upside down oh I poked a hole in it already that's how I do it <laughs> just a spaz And I'm pretty sure we have a six and a half inch woofer in here. 
Ow. A five and a half, maybe? Yeah, it's a, it's a five and a half. I'd actually like to see if I can blow up the subwoofer with just cranking this So the satellite speakers have a crossover on them at 100 hertz. That's when the drivers start moving. It's all mechanical noise on this woofer. You actually hear the mechanical noise much more than the actual tone it's putting out. The little amp inside definitely doesn't have enough power to cause damage to the drivers. Just go all day playing distortion. <laughs> It is totally warm though, but let's see what's inside these things So I can see right now that these are wired in series and there's actually a little capacitor here So that's making it so these don't get any bass frequencies at all. All right, let's see what this subwoofer has inside It's like Christmas. Not too much going on in that thing. <laughs> this hammer is a little brutal. I can fix it. Alright, as just a viewer request here, I'm going to try plugging the subwoofer channel into one of these satellite speakers. Alright, we're going to try plugging the subwoofer. I have the subwoofer channel plugged into this. Oh! Oh, this thing's getting warm, man. <laughs> that works really good actually 
All right, so now we have this one satellite speaker plugged into a 2000 watt amp channel on the Carvin DCM 2000 bridge mode. Let's see what this thing can do. No, they are blown. Wow. smells so bad. <laughs> yeah, whatever glue they use to put this coil together absolutely stinks. We'll bypass these capacitors, take the dust caps off, and see what kind of smoke show we get. Man, these little ones slap too. Hopefully <laughs> long ago I did a video and I actually had one of the center channels out of this system. Whoop. That's why my nerves are bad, guys. Wow. Well, that's about it for the Logitech X530 speaker system. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give the video a like, drop a comment, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.